Do you love going to Broadway shows, but can't go now because Broadway's closed? Join tour guide Tim and Velasco too as they bring Broadway history to you. Grab your Broadway passport for what's in store on your virtual Broadway tour. This week's theater, The Nederlander, is the southernmost of the 41 Broadway theaters. Originally designed to be a carpenter shop in 1920, plans were quickly adapted a year later to convert it into a theater instead. The Nederlander joins the Broadway and the Winter Garden as the only Broadway houses still standing that were originally built for a different use. The Broadway was a silent movie house, and if you join for our Winter Garden Theater Week, you know it was originally a barn. The Nederlander has had a varied history of both flops and successes, and a mix of Broadway legends and Broadway debuts. Audiences were first treated to the alcoholic rage of Edward Albee's pen in the Broadway bow of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf in 1962, and the theater's longest-running play Inherit the Wind about the Scopes Monkey Trial captivated audiences for 806 performances. Audiences first heard the music and lyrics of Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowe in a Broadway debut known as What's Up before they went on to write My Fair Lady, Camelot, and Brigadoon. My favorite moment in the history of the theater is a young woman who became an overnight sensation in the musical review Lend an Ear. Her name? Carol Channing. The Nederlander's longest-running show, at 5,123 performances, was the Broadway debut of a young writer named Jonathan Larson. The show? Rent. Using the characters and plot of the opera La Boheme as inspiration, Larson set to work to create a rock musical that personified his generation thriving and striving to make their mark on the world, amidst drugs, disease, and the poverty of New York City's Lower East Side in the mid-1990s. The show originally opened off-Broadway in 1996 at New York Theatre Workshop before moving uptown. Tragically, there was one person who didn't ever see the curtain rise on this epic piece of musical theatre, Jonathan Larson. 35-year-old Larson hadn't been feeling well on the final rehearsal days off-Broadway and checked into the hospital to have x-rays and tests done. Not finding anything concrete, doctors determined it was nothing more than stress or the flu. The next night, on the night of the final dress rehearsal of the off-Broadway bow, Jonathan headed back to his apartment, put on a kettle for tea, collapsed, and never woke up. For years, Jonathan had been telling anyone who would listen that he would be the future of American musical theater. It turns out he was correct. He just never lived to see it all unfold exactly as he had imagined. In addition to winning a slew of Tony Awards and the Pulitzer Prize for Drama, and bringing the strains of rock music back to Broadway, Rent was also the first Broadway show to offer front row rush tickets. When the musical first opened in 1996, the producers set aside seats in the first two rows of the orchestra section to be sold at the box office each day for $20 each. Fans, or self-proclaimed rent heads, would line up for hours in sleeping bags on CD 41st Street to snag the coveted tickets to the show. As a safer alternative, the producers adopted a lottery system a year or so into the run, so rush ticket buyers wouldn't have to sleep on the crime and drug-ridden block. For the last 11 years of the run, 34 tickets each show were up for grabs via the lottery at the entrance to the Nederlander. To this day, many shows have embraced the same theater for the masses idea of a lottery system before each performance as a way to make Broadway accessible to those who otherwise could not afford the expensive ticket price. All you need is a little luck on your side. Originally a movie, Newsies is based on the true story of New York City newsboys in 1899 who held a successful strike against Joseph Pulitzer and William Randolph Hearst. 
The movie, which came out in 1992, proved to be a financial failure. Revisiting the work 20 years later, Disney re-enlisted the original composer and lyricist team of Alan Menken and Jack Feldman to add more songs, and hired Harvey Firestein to construct a new libretto. When initially casting the production, the creative team was met with a tricky situation. The real-life Newsies in 1899 were approximately 12 to 14 years old. In present-day New York City, any commercial production that utilizes performers under the age of 18 must pay these young performers the full minimum adult salary and must also pay for tutoring. Would Disney foot the expensive bills of tutors and child wranglers for the entire cast of Newsies? No. Instead, the casting team found almost every performer in the tri-state area who could sing, act, do gymnastics, ballet, and tap dance, and look like a teenager but was over the age of 18. It was a very tall order. Pun intended, you're welcome. But thanks to the expertise of the creative team and the casting directors at Telsey & Company, a full cast of unbelievably talented boys was assembled, and the show went on to be a hit. Hello! Happy Saturday noon on Broadway here as part of our virtual Broadway tour series. My name is Tim Dolan. Thank you for spending a little part of your Saturday here with me. Uh, every week we're coming to you live with someone who has worked at the theater we're featuring that week. And this week we are joined by the incredible, the talented, the fun, you're going to love him, David Guzman from Newsies uh, at the Nederlander Theater. For those that aren't familiar with me uh, or Broadway Up Close, my name is Tim. Uh, I'm an actor and the owner of Broadway Up Close Walking Tours in New York City. Uh, for the last 10 years, since 2000, 2010, we've hit the sidewalks of Times Square, unearthing uh, secrets, history, fun facts, ghost stories, all the things you didn't know you didn't know that you really want to know about the 41 Broadway theaters. I have an entire team that I call my green team, actors and stage managers that are your windows or your eyes to the world of our weird fun facts and weird theatrical lives. Um, last year, we opened a gift shop in the middle of Times Square. So we have a 60 square foot little green box uh, that's currently positioned right in front of Lion King. Uh, next to it, we have a six foot tall Broadway sign of 150 light bulbs made of marquee letters, uh, my favorite word in the world, Broadway. All of that is closed because of this thing that I'm sure you've heard of called COVID-19. So uh, we moved a lot of that online, which we'll talk about at the end. Um, our tours are back open. We're doing socially distanced uh, mass tours. We have one actually going on right now, a ghost light tour in Times Square. Uh, uh, we have those five exterior tours. And then we have our interior tour, which we opened in October, which is the only one of our tours that isn't open because we don't have access to the Hudson. Uh, and that is a tour, of course, of the Hudson Theater, uh, Broadway's oldest. Uh, been there for 117 years. Info on all of that you can get at the end, www.broadwayupclose.com. You shouldn't look at that now. You should stay here and hang out with me and David uh, and um, then go look at it later. Uh, March 12th, 2020. Uh, if you joined us before, you've heard me talk about uh, what we in the tour guide community call Red Thursday is the day that kind of everything shut down. Um, I never, it never had ever, ever really occurred to me that there would be a world where New York City and Broadway, to me, they're synonymous. It never occurred that there would be a world where one exists without the other. And so when they said, oh, it'll just be a month, you're like, oh, it's going to be a rough month, but we'll buckle down and we'll get through. Uh, and then that month became two months and then six months. And then here we are. I think we're, what, seven, eight months in, uh, over 200 days uh, without Broadway. The extension uh, goalpost moving again to at least May 30th, but probably maybe fall of next year. So we're it's going to be a long haul, but that's why we have this. Uh, we have our virtual Broadway tour series. When this all started, I said, we'll do this one theater a week. It'll be 41 theaters. It'll be 41 weeks. I'm insane. This will take my entire life and it'll be the hardest thing I've ever done. But like hashtag worth it. Uh, so here we are. We're almost halfway. It is week 19, uh, the Nederlander. I hope you've enjoyed the fun facts and history this week. The theater uh, personally holds a special place in my heart because it's the first Broadway show I ever saw I was at the Nederlander. It was Rent. Uh, I was 16 years old. I saw that with my mom and my aunt, which was something I don't recommend, watching uh, songs about people fornicating uh, with your mom on one side and your aunt on the other. And the one story that I'll tell you very quickly is the only, uh, is the first thing I remember about Broadway is we paid a lot of money. We were third row uh, on the side in the orchestra and we sat down and a cockroach uh, walked over my shoe um, and I thought, hmm, that's different. I thought Broadway was like maybe less roaches. Uh, and my mom, who's not like the quippiest person ever, she looked at me and she said, do you think he paid as much as we did? 
Uh, and that's what I think of every time I see uh, the Nederlander. And that's, of course, where our Broadway's beginnings tour starts. So I spent a lot of time outside that building. Uh, today, how's it going to work? Uh, for today's series, we'll learn all about David's theatrical journey, his time working at the Nederlander in this little show that I feel like you've heard of called Newsies. Uh, if you have any questions for him or me along the way, you should drop them in the comments. Some of you have already dropped where you're watching us from, which is great. I love that. If you haven't already, let us know. Facebook doesn't tell me those things. Um, I think that's everything. We'll weave your questions in as we talk to David. Uh, he's wonderful. You're going to love him. And so without further ado, join me in welcoming Broadway's David Guzman. What up? Hey, how's it going, man? Good. How's your life? Great. Everything's good. I mean, as as good as it can be. <laughs> it's, yes, it's a loaded question. Yeah. Every time yes. I ask someone, I'm like, how are you? They're like, mm, I'm good. <laughs> it's a global pandemic. But other than that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. great. I don't have a job. Everything. Everything's great. You know? Yeah, but otherwise, <laughs> it's great. It's really great. Um, okay, so for those, let's assume that uh, all the people don't know you. Uh, I feel like they do. You have a lot of fans, um, we'll is see. what I've gathered. <laughs> Qu questionable. Well, I think so. Um, so will you tell us, tell us where you're from, tell us um, maybe when you first got exposed to theater or when you first were like, oh, this is something I like. And then yeah. how that transitions into something that you're going to do professionally and then get us like all the way to New York, which I think was Newsies. And then we'll go from there. It's a lot. So no. like yeah, yeah. navigate all of that. Yeah, great. Um, my name is David Guzman. I'm originally uh, from just south of Boston. About 25 miles south in Brockton, Massachusetts. Uh, I grew okay. up dancing at the Gold School. That's where I trained and danced from to, from when I was three until I moved to New York. Um, and I actually thought I was going to be a, a dancer. Like I was looking to go to school for dance, like at Juilliard or Ailey. I know I wanted to be in New York because I felt like there was a lot of strong um, dancers in New York. And I yeah. honestly didn't even think Broadway was a obtainable dream almost. Um, I sure. was kind of like, oh, like Broadway's awesome. I love musicals. Um, I never thought of it as a career or something that I would be doing. I thought I saw myself in like a contemporary ballet company or something like that. Sure. Um, and when and, you were three, like I'm always fascinated by people that take dance class when you're three. Yeah. So like one, do you have any, do you remember it at all? And two, like what class were you like in <sighs> three years old doing ballet? Uh, no, not I wouldn't say what you would call ballet, <laughs> but okay. uh, I mean, I remember very, very little of it. Me and my brother were kind of crazy. Um, I have a twin brother. My uh, Yes, I didn't say that, but uh, I have a twin brother. His name's Jacob. Sure. He's also in the business, um, and he also did Newsies with me, but um, yep. we were kind of crazy. Just like It's like having your best friend around at all times when you're like two and three, which is like the craziest years, so like we were just yeah. wild and never gave my mom a break and uh sure and we'll, we'll talk a lot about being twins but like yeah. so let's start now what is like is right from the get-go did you both have your identical twins yeah and did you have similar interests your whole life were you always both like dance or like mom put you in dance and so you both did it and then you just did it no i mean i think we always just really enjoyed everything together like we always had very similar interests we always were really loving what we like it was never like oh like i want to do this but I, the other one wants to do that like we were also we were like always on the same page like no nah, let's go play some basketball okay let's go play yeah, some video sure. games okay let's go do this like we were always like loving what we were doing either playing the sport or dancing and but we were so wild that when we would pick my um sisters up from dance with my mom you know we uh -huh. were, she would bring us with along we would acts crazy in the lobby and um, just running around yelling, screaming. And, and one time the studio door was open so you can see into the class and we'd yeah. run around and then all of a sudden me and my brother just like stopped and was not talking, wasn't yelling. We were just like stopped watching the dance. My mom was like, what's going on? Mm, yeah, <laughs> wait a happens. minute. So then the dance teacher actually allowed us to come into the room and watch the dance class. And we just like sat there silent and my mom was like, I think we should try this out because they have never, ever done this. Right. And then, so we started to take class and it was a lot of like, just like more following instructions of movement. They had like mats and you'd like walk across the mat and then they'd have like sure. a mat that was like a, almost like a teepee that you'd walk under the mat. Like it was like, okay. I just basic say, getting yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're not I'm, in. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not, this is first, this is fifth. And you're like no, at three, no. like nailed it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Great. I don't remember that part. Maybe. But okay. <laughs> You're like just a child prodigy. You're like, look at those two. Uh, okay. So then that goes well. So you dance and you're like, you know, did you see tours that came through uh, Massachusetts? Did you see Broadway shows? Did you come down to New York and see shows? Or was it like, we saw some stuff, but I'm still like contemporary dance company. Here I come. Yeah. I saw, I saw like Lion King um, when it toured in Boston. Um, sure. And uh, not that it's a musical, but I saw like other shows like Blue Man Group and um, sure. like Cirque du Soleil. Um, and I loved those shows. I loved, I loved performing. I think that's what I loved right. most of all. Um, I definitely still saw myself as a contemporary dancer. I think I trained in ballet and modern growing up. Like that was my studio was really pushed like ballet and modern technique, technique. So I think that's sure. where I got that from. And um, so that's where I, I was kind of headed. And then after my junior of high school, I did like a, a national dance competition, you know, that a lot of studios do. Um, sure. And uh, someone I met from the, the competition was like, hey, like there's an audition in New York. They're looking for strong male dancers for this musical called Newsies. I didn't really know anything about Broadway. I knew what Broadway was, but I didn't know like what shows. They're like, it's called, you know, the show Newsies. I'm like, I, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, does not scan. I, like, I, don't, I don't even know. What I, got... <laughs> I don't know what shows are open on Broadway. Like, I have no right. idea. I knew. And Wicked. you've never seen. You had never seen a Broadway show. I've never seen a Broadway show. My sisters are both into it. My oldest sister, Liana, was like really into Broadway. I saw. I knew she saw Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway, and she saw Wicked. Okay. So I knew those were shows. I didn't know if they were still open. I didn't even know if shows closed and then right. opened again. I have no idea. But <laughs> sure. So we auditioned, we went into the city, we auditioned, we thought it would be a good uh, process since it's after our junior year. We thought, you know, we're going to have to audition for colleges coming up dance wise. And we've never really done, actually I lied. I forgot when we were younger, we did audition for Billy Elliot. Um, okay, sure. But you know, every yeah, you little boy to. that dances Correct. auditions yeah. for Billy Elliot. So, Correct. Um, we did like- If you hadn't auditioned for Billy Elliot, I would have been like, I don't, I don't <laughs> Like, what do you mean? Were um, you not able to call for Billy Elliot? <laughs> <laughs> but um so then we auditioned and we we're getting used to the process and sure we end up making it actually a lot farther because we thought we were just going kind of for fun just for the experience and then they really liked us and um we ended up getting the job and um we got to see newsies that was the first broadway show i've ever seen the Crazy. company manager after we got the job he, he i think or I, I think it was like after the audition after they really liked us and wanted us they're like come and watch the show um, so they got us tickets. And they're like, can you do that? And you both yeah. were like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Duh. Uh, you were like, uh, yeah. Duh. Uh, okay, so then you book Broadway. And you're how old? I'm 17. 17 years old. I left, I, so I, I finished my senior of high school while I was performing in Newsies on Broadway. As you do. And Jacob yes. is doing this with you. You're both parallel the same is, thing. Yes, Jacob's doing it with uh, with me. And then there's actually two other company members that are also finishing their senior year. So there's four of us all together that were like 17 trying to finish our senior year of high school while doing Newsies. It, also having yeah. just seen your yeah. first Broadway show. Hashtag, yeah. what is your life? Okay, so, so then I, you I graduate. Did. There's this graduation ceremony moment that yes. we talk about on our tours. Will you walk us through like what that was like, how that came yeah. about, what is your life, all of that? Yeah, so our, our company manager, um, Eduardo Castro, which he's my favorite company manager I've ever worked for. I, I'm actually really good friends with him now. He's like my older brother. Um, but he came up to me and us with the idea they're like hey like um disney was thinking about throwing this like on stage celebration of your guys's graduation because you know you guys are finishing school here and like and luckily i was able to walk on my own graduation but they said like yeah. you know we'd celebrate it on stage like after a show um and we'd have like you know tom schumacher be there or something and like yeah. um you know be like the disney graduation and the i as as he said that i was like no I do not want to do that. <laughs> Why? Was, Come on. Like you're like random. 18. <laughs> you're already like, no, no. It was, no. More like, it was more like we were going to like walk across the stage from in front of like a random audience that just watched yeah, the show. I was like, I don't, was what's like, the point? Of, I'm so confused. I was like, they don't even right. know what's going on. <laughs> like, right. But then when the when we were leading up to it and like we got the cap and gown and i was like oh this is actually going to be pretty awesome and, yeah. and when it happened we like finished the show we ran they brought the towers back um like our whole set back and uh we had pulitzer as our um principal and uh, -huh. uh 
Teddy Roosevelt as our vice principal, and they as switched off introducing each um, each of the, the, the us, us four in like really fun ways of like um, you know uh, Pulitzer. He's a big sports fan. Uh, uh, uh-huh. And he was saying like you know, and they, he loves the Patriots. This is David Guzman. Sure, like, you know, like, sure, sure, really sure, fun sure. Introductions. And then we came on and like you know grabbed our like fake certificate, and it, it was awesome. Like our diploma, and you know wow. it was. It ended up being really awesome. And they let our parents into the theater at the very end of the show, so they got. To I see love that. Too. Yeah, that's it was, wild. It was honestly, it was amazing, and I'm so glad I did it. It's so funny to think that. When they first asked that, I was like, nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but it was Just awesome. already it was really smoking fun. in your ballet yeah. costume. Like, <laughs> no, nah, it doesn't check out. Um, yeah, we tell the story on tour. We show the picture of you guys. Oh, I found a photo fun. of you guys throwing yeah. it. And people lose their mind. And we yeah. get we do a lot of student groups. And we tell these to the student groups. And they're all obsessed with Newsies. Um, and it's, they just, they go wild for the story. I mean, it's really kind of like a special moment in time. Um, and that's how your whole Broadway life starts. What a wild, yeah. crazy thing. Okay, yeah. so then Newsies finishes. You and Jacob finish Newsies. It goes well. It makes its money back. Life is great. So then what happens from there? Um, well, talking about the first, not only was it the first musical I saw, but it was actually the first musical I performed in. I never did musicals in high school or anything. I know, it's just like- Only uh, you. Just jump to, jump to Broadway. <laughs> this is how it goes, right? Just you like just, I'm just, just you know, for the experience. Works, right? You don't have to go to yeah. school for this, right? You just right. go, you just well, let's, Broadway. Yeah, just auditioning <laughs> for the experience and the joy uh, of just like, just seeing how it works. Yeah, but just I've trying been, it I've out. Been, I've been very fortunate. I'm super, um, grateful for my career um and, and how it's led me so actually right after newsies closed um we were me and my brother were actually debating leaving the show because we had booked um peter pan live peter so pan we, were the, live, okay. we were the twin lost boys on peter pan live which and because so we closed august 24th um okay. and then peter pan live uh started rehearsals like in september i want to say we had the perform okay. or october maybe we had we had that one time performance on like december 4th so it was sure. like right after that we had the job and then and then i i um <clears throat> had like six months where i was just like kind of taking class working on my craft um uh and trying to find a job and then newsies asked me to do the tour which i was like yes that'd be awesome i got to tour for um six months and um so and this I, leads us to a question that someone wrote in. Oh, yeah. Daisy Todd on Instagram said, what was it like going from Newsies Broadway to Newsies on tour? Different different theater. This is the first yeah. time you've ever been on tour, presumably, because you just started doing musicals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is the first time I, I was doing a tour. And it was from a show that I've done for two years on Broadway. Um, so for sure, it's different. Um, you know, it overall, it's the same show as an audience member. You're probably going to sure. get a very, very similar experience. Um, right. As far as like tracking and what tracks do what and who is says this line, all of that stuff changes. Um, yeah. And rightfully so to like really cater to that new tour cast, you know, like why am I gonna make you do what Evan Kazerzak did on Broadway? Cause right. you're not Evan Kazerzak, you know? Like, yeah. so like figuring out how it works for the new cast. Um, so that it was, it was different. Um, I, I, I love doing the show. Um, and uh, I had an amazing time in the two years. And then, so then going on tour, I was replacing a friend of mine that did Broadway with me, Julian. And um, and it's it's just a different experience. I, I actually really enjoyed touring. I liked going to different cities. Um, our tour was a little quick. Every Monday we traveled pretty much. Yeah. I think there was like one city that we stayed in. We were like in Toronto for like two months. So that's when I first joined. Okay. So I wasn't even performing yet. And then after that, we just did one week Every in a week. city travel Monday, one week in a city travel Monday. So it was hard to have a day off, but I still enjoyed it. It was kind of like fun. And, you know, you, yeah. you get into the, we call it like the, the bubble of the tour where it's just like sure. you and the same group of friends in the cast that are going out every single night in different cities. Yeah, nothing else matters. You're no. like, what, and, what's and happening I, in the rest of the world? Who yeah, cares? yeah. And I made like some really good friends on that tour. Like my best right. friend, Demarius, um, we've been like best friends since. And we, we met on that tour and like we're super wow. strong, like, He's like, you know, ride or die. <laughs> and now you're um, all taking over the world, right? He didn't, he just booked Dear Evan Hansen movie. Yeah, he's actually, yeah, I he's think taking he starts over the to world. like today, actually. I, I was, oh, come yeah, on. I think it, yeah, it's today he starts shooting. So I'm super That's pumped wild. For him. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. And so then, okay, Newsies finishes on tour. How does Hamilton fall into your life? 
So I happened to put in my notice for Newsies because um, while I was doing the Newsies tour, Jacob did um, the the revival of Fiddler on the Roof. He did the workshop and then asked was in rehearsals for Broadway sure. when I was on tour. And then he was opening December 18th, I think it is. And wow, then it was so, memory. yeah, I know. I remember these random dates. And I, if you ask my girlfriend, I don't remember at all, but I can remember <laughs> She's this. like, he can barely remember my name, but he can remember <laughs> Jacob's opening night. Um, but I, so I put in my notice um, for a couple of days before that. So, I, cause I really wanted to see my brother open up a Broadway show. You know, we've joined Newsy, so yeah, we are never, yeah. and it's still yet to um, open a Broadway show. That's definitely one of my goals is to like, create a Broadway show, whether it's sure. in the ensemble or whatever, you know, whatever it is from the beginning of the process. And um, right. so I, I wanted to see him open up. So I put in my notice and it happened to be kind of perfect timing. Cause then when coming up to my notice, I, I had, I was like flying in to New York from wherever we were on tour to audition for Hamilton. Um, I got to see the show when I was on tour, I like came back and saw the show uh, cause a friend of mine was in it. And um mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, I love this show. This is amazing. I am going to be in this show one day, just not now because I am a child. <laughs> so <laughs> I was looking at the stage like, these are men on stage. As the yeah. There's no way I'm going to get hired. But somehow they, they were able to look past my little They were like, body. we have one room for one <laughs> tiny boy yes, in exactly. the back who can be the doctor sometimes. And yes, you're like, thank exactly. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> exactly. So it ended up working out perfect that I, I left the tour. Got to see Jacob open up a Broadway show. It was my birthday on December 23rd, so we got to celebrate my birthday. And then, uh, and then Christmas, and then like December 27th, I think it was, I found out that I was going to be joining the Broadway uh, company of Hamilton. And As I started on January 4th. In yeah. Hamilton. Wow. Yeah, first That's child great. of Hamilton. First child of Hamilton. <laughs> and now they're all <laughs> children. Now they're all like seven. Correct. So. Well, yes. <laughs> Isn't that how it always works? They're like, yeah. we'll have him. He's 23 in the show, but we'll hire a 40 year old. Yeah. And three years into the run, they're like, no, we're actually going with actual fetuses. Yeah. Who can Same thing with ballet. the Newsies tour. It's like, <laughs> just like, like why? age dropped. <laughs> Correct. I went from They're the like, youngest on Broadway to like middle aged on tour <laughs> within like a, like six. You were months. like just last year I graduated <laughs> high school on Broadway and now I'm ancient. Um, <laughs> Literally, that, that's wild. Okay, so then in Hamilton when you join, what do you what what track are you? What child track? Uh, where did the child fit in? <laughs> uh, I was actually I was a swing, so I covered uh, okay. the six male ensembles. Um, we started out with uh, Man 4, which is one of the tracks that was Seth Stewart. Yeah. He was uh, injured at the time, so they figured they needed an extra um, body just in case. Um, sure. And yeah, I just uh, was learning the track slowly. It took me a little bit longer to learn the tracks because I ended up doing Man 4 for about like two months straight um, okay. in the show when I first started. Um, they kind of put me on. They were, I think... Yeah, they kind of rushed me to put me on to make sure that someone could at least be in the track so the swings could cover other things. And sure. they ended up liking the performance and they're like, he's great, keep him on. <laughs> so I wow. was on for like two months and then I eventually learned the other tracks. Um, and that summer, um, they said, they, because they were talking about like Chicago and how Steph Clemens, our associate, was going to be leaving to work on other companies and start that. So they were looking for an assistant dance captain. So then I mm. became the assistant dance captain um, under Morgan and Voltaire. And then wow. eventually when Morgan left, I became the dance captain with Voltaire and then Voltaire left and then uh, Liza from the Chicago company. So, and then I've been dance captain ever since. Yeah. Damn. Good for you. I don't think I, yeah. maybe I don't think I knew that. Congratulations. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. So I teach all the new guys coming in and, uh, and now I understudy John Lawrence that happened like last year or so. The actual yeah. child in act the two. The actual child. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we'll get there eventually. The actual <laughs> exactly. nine-year-old. They're like, who could play this <laughs> uh, nine-year-old? Yeah. You, you were mean, like, yeah, yeah. the little boy. <laughs> yeah. You were like, which child in the cast will play this? You're like, hi. Yeah. Um, that's incredible. Um, I was going to ask you a question. Oh, I was going to not ask you a question. For those who are following, we just threw so much jargon at them that yeah. I assume you all know, but just in the event that people don't know, swings cover multiple people in the show, usually yes. of their gender. Um, Hamilton, it's usually, it seems like six or seven you cover. Man four, each track is a, is a thing. Woman one, man four, woman five. And so each of those do separate things, both numbers on the floor, choreography, vocals. 
And so what was it like to go from Newsies where you're like, what are musicals? And to do yeah. one part and then to go into Hamilton and be like, oh, I know what musicals are. And they're like, here, do learn these yeah. six different tracks. What's yeah, that? Well, well, luckily with starting at Newsies, like I had, I was a literal child um, and I had <laughs> great uh, mentors um, just in the cast that really, really helped me out understand what the business was and also what being an adult was honestly, you know, like sure. growing up and um, uh, so I, I had people that were supporting me that whole time. And so I, you know, grew up pretty fast. And then when I, so when I joined Hamilton, it was the first time I swung a show, like being a swing. Yeah. And that's a whole different experience, you know, like um, I always say everyone should do it because it's really a challenge. It's, it's the hardest thing you can do in a, in a live production is swing because you have to be ready, like you said, to do those different tracks to be on those At different moment, numbers and, right. and like, you know, you've been doing man four for two months and all of a sudden next week they're like, okay, you're going to be man three. And you're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. So then you start doing man three and then all of a sudden you're standing next to Seth and you're like, wait, I'm not man four. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. You know, like it's, we call it swing brain. Cause it's just, there's so much information in your head. You're singing different harmonies. You're doing different dance steps. You're saying different lines. There's a lot of stuff to, to kind of, you have to, you know, Process, make different. Yeah parts of your brain work at certain moments and um it's wild but i i, I found that i actually could do that like it, it made sense to me like of course i'm not perfect but like it just made sure. sense to me and i ended up doing um i felt pretty good with each of the tracks and and especially now you know four years later it's like oh you want me to do man five yeah i got it <laughs> has oh, it man, been four now? years oh, yeah. It's yeah, been four years. 2016. No, yeah. kid, come on. Yeah, January of what? 2016. So it's been a long time. I'm one besides Thane, who's the only original cast member left. I'm yeah. the oldest person at, that's been at the show. Come on. Yeah, yeah. and Thane yeah, has me wild. beat by like two years because he's been <laughs> yeah. Doing Ain't nobody like gonna the beat the workshops and <laughs> correct <laughs> exactly. And he's, he's probably gonna that. outlast me too, you know. <laughs> correct. There's uh in Linda way, she's the gazelle in Lion King that's been there all 23 yeah. years. That's gonna be wow. Thane. Yeah, exactly. You're like, yeah, I think 100%. I saw the original Samuel Seabury. You're like, you did. You definitely uh, did. <laughs> you definitely did. Um, I I don't know how you know Andres, but Andres just says literally two of my yes. favorite people. Love you, boys. How do you know I Andres? Love Andres? So when I was actually in Hamilton. Um, I got to leave to do um, In the Heights down in uh, oh, North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yes. And he was my uh, Usnavi and I was um, Graffiti Pete. He's a star. And, and, you know, of course you Oh are. my God. He's a star and he's I, yeah. he's awesome. I love Andres. What's up, Andres? What's up, Andres? <laughs> he's got, he has big stuff coming up that we're not allowed to talk about. But um, ooh, we're, I'm very ooh. excited for Andres and life outside yeah. of a global pandemic. Um, we did Alter Boys years ago. Uh, he was oh, my first amazing. Juan in Alter Boys. Oh, and we've been fun. like best yeah. friends since. Um, here we are talking about our lives. Here we here are. We <laughs> uh, here we are. Um, okay. So then being a dance captain, I'm fairly certain people don't understand what all really goes into that? I mean, mm -hmm. knowing six tracks already lends itself, but like as a dance captain, you're are you putting females into the show? Are you putting lead characters into the show? Um, you know, are you running auditions? Uh, tell me, like, yeah. what's the day in the life of a dance captain, especially four years in? Yeah, every show has like their own way of using a dance captain. Um, sure. For Hamilton, we we t like it's kind of we right now we have like it's usually a male. Uh, dance captain a female dance captain and then we have our associate uh like sorry not uh like a resident choreographer so sure. like andy and steph kind of go they're the choreographer and associate they go around to um all the companies and like kind of have their different rehearsals and we'll check in every now and then and then there's a resident in each company that will kind of like be their first channel of person to talk to about the dancing um, sure so the resident is usually in charge of teaching all the choreography to the leads. Um, okay. or if, uh, in our company, uh, Jen Jenkinshade, she teaches m most of the leads. Um, and, Cause most of the leads aren't doing that much movement. They're kind of doing, we call the surround choreo, like up in Hamilton, they have like that second level. So we right. call that the surround. So like sure. the, the surround choreography is mostly like just arms instead of the feet. <laughs> yeah. um, Arma so, we call that armography. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Armography. Uh, so Jen, our resident, teaches all of the leads, all of like the armography. And then I teach all the male ensemble and our female dance captain teaches all the female. Um, okay. That's for the most part. There's been random times where like uh, there's not enough um people or something and i'll like kind of step in to like maybe teach partnering for a female and vice versa like uh right. gabby our current female dance captain will help and uh, like i'll 
I'll help out with the females a little with the partnering with helpless and satisfied and Gabby will help out the sure. guys and come in. Um, but for the most part, that's uh, as far as teaching goes. Um, then we're also all three of us, Jen, Gabby and I, the resident and then the dance captains are all in charge of we try to like note at least two shows a week. So you kind of okay. have like, you know, one show and then, you note a second show to kind of be like, did they change? Is this something I have to give? Um, and noting is basically just like watching the show, making sure everyone's giving the right energy, uh, making sure, you know, physically how it looks if, if, you know, someone's not in the right position and, but also like making sure that they're hitting the step exactly how Andy wants to see the, the, um, it executed and stuff like that. And, um, right. so we kind of get to at least note two shows and then give notes and talk through different things with, um, the ensemble and, uh, yeah. that's as, as far as noting goes. And then for the, um, auditions it kind of switches back and forth kind of who's available usually jen's runs them and then if she's not available me or gabby will run them but i've run a couple auditions gabby's run a couple auditions jen's run a bunch of auditions do you yeah. like that do you like the do you like the responsibility of being a dance captain i know some people it's too much um i do uh i i kind of feel like i'm almost a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to dancing. So I'm glad that when I see something wrong on stage, I, it's actually my job to say something. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know, that you don't have to be like, I'd, I'd have someone to be like, should I tell can't them. say anything. That's not my job. <laughs> right. Yeah, You're yeah. like, I don't want to tell you, but when well, I was three, that, um, right. <laughs> we were doing first position since I've been three. And so your arms should be like a little more, you know, remember like with the mats mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. you're going to want to, <laughs> exactly, that's a, okay exactly. all right i love that that's um crazy okay so then and so while all of this is going on jacob is on hamilton on tour yeah so jacob finished out uh further on the roof they ran for a year and then okay. he started the they like literally almost exactly a year so they ended in december and then he started the tour in january of 2017 okay. So he started about a year after me and then he's on tour for two years. But like wow. his tour, like if you're talking about like week to week on my tour, Jacob was not a tour. They had, <laughs> they had easy living. I don't care what anyone says. They were like in San Francisco for six months. Then they were in LA for six months. I'm like, that's not a tour. That's just like, like sit down. Those are just like, sit down regional productions. <laughs> it literally, exactly, exactly. But wow. um, he had a blast on the tour and they had a really good cast. Like that cast was really good. Um, uh, that he was on. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. I got to see wow. him a couple of times. I got to see their opening night in San Francisco, which was awesome. And so he was Crazy. doing that for most of the time. And then, uh, and then, and is it weird or is it, is there, is it nice to both be in the same show in different companies? Is there, uh, you can commiserate about certain yeah, things I mean, or different things? For sure. Yeah. We, we definitely talked all the, about our different <laughs> companies and the differences of like, which track does what and like, you know, complaining about our jobs like we do, you know, <laughs> sure. but, um, cause we are actually both dance captains too. So we both really understood. Oh, crazy. Yeah. What each other was going through. Um, but, wow. uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. And I got to, and it was fun. Cause there was times where like, we would both be on for the same track too, you know? So like we took a picture and we're like, we're both, Come man, on. Five. you Come know, like on. across the whole country. Yeah. It was, it was cool. Isn't that wild? Your life is wild. I love it. Okay. So then where does West Side Story come into the mix? Well, even before West Side Story, when I was doing, um, when Jacob was on tour and I was, um, he, I think he was on tour, yeah, and I was on Broadway, we got to do the Newsies movie, which- um, Oh, that's right. I'd left the Newsies tour after that, obviously. Um, yeah. No, he's doing Fiddler on the Roof. He wasn't on tour yet. But um, we rehearsed in New York and only, there was like five or six of us that were added to the tour cast to then be a part of the, the Pantages, movie. like live um, wow. yeah, movie, which was awesome. So we got to kind of work after- you know, a couple of years of not working together for me being on tour and him doing Fiddler and then me being Hamilton, we got to work together again. And that was, that was awesome. So we got to kind of partner wow. up again and do Newsies the movie, which was awesome. And then after um, Jacob's back from tour and, and then we were able to both be a part of the West Side movie. He was, Jacob was auditioning for the West Side movie when he was on tour, kind of like how I did with Hamilton. So he'd like sure. fly in on a day off and like audition for the movie and yeah. And what was, was and so what was the audition process like? Was it agent appointments where you just went in? Was it cattle call where it's like every man who can do ballet <laughs> is in a room? Uh, and uh, then how does, and then once you book it, where, talk to us all of that. I think it was honestly, 
I feel like it was like said to be like an appointment, but there was like a hundred of us. So like you're like, right. all right, so just everyone. Okay, you got it, got it. <laughs> Correct. Um, and uh, yeah, they, and like, what's the first cut? Was it step forward, do a double pirouette, like chorus line no, style, we, or like was it a full like? Gana, gana, gana. No, um, we. I'm trying to remember what we did honestly okay it was like I, a year I ago can't, i know it's terrible i can't remember, I I'm trying we, to remember call the that, uh, of the audition we call process. that pandemic brain where you're like i don't remember where <laughs> I, don't remember. I am or who i was or well, that was pre-pandemic so <laughs> yeah, how can you expect me to remember that uh no we, we started with the combo um okay it was to the um you know opening we did like a combo that sure. was kind of but it was only I think the Sharks and the Jets were both doing the same combo, but they only had Sharks auditioning at one time and Jets auditioning at another. Okay. Um, and it was it was Justin Peck taught us something to the opening um, song. You know, everyone knows um, that everyone yeah. knows. And um, but uh, very similar style to like what Jerome Robbins did, but like a, a kind of updated take on it. And I um, okay. And I think like the are, they, are we gonna see like the snaps in Dance of the Gym? Uh, no snaps. Are you allowed to tell me? Yeah. Oh, come on. No snaps? In the Dance of the Gym? No. Well, so I guess... Right. Don't they... Da, na, na, na. No, no. I'm, That's a, I'm yeah. getting confused. I'm sorry. I'm putting out misinformation there. Because uh, <laughs> I get confused because Jacob also is doing a Broadway show currently. And they don't do snaps. No um, snaps. That's for sure no snaps. Uh, yeah, there's... Yeah, there's... Uh, it's... That scene is kind of shot a little different. So like you don't really see, okay. it's, it's more just about Tony and Maria. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you don't really see like the, the traditional like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so you kind of, you can, you can kind of, I, I, I wasn't there. I wasn't uh, in that shot. So I don't really know how they shot it. But um, Okay. All right. But it's okay, mostly well, about we, Tony. We'll cut, you some, yeah. we'll cut yeah. you some slack. Then. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I'm not in that scene, Tim. Not, Shut up. I don't up. know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And what was it like? So what is it what does it feel like to to go from, you know, your first Broadway show Newsies and then you're in then you do like a huge, you know, Peter Pan live which is like yeah. its own frenetic crazy live yeah. experience. And then you go into like the biggest musical in the world Hamilton and you become a dance captain of that. And then now you're filming what could be called one of like the most anticipated musical movies probably in a very long time mm. because it's so iconic, because it's finally being updated, because Steven Spielberg is involved. What does it feel like to kind of like navigate all of that? Is it just like you just go moment by moment or is there pinch me moments where you're like, you know, with Justin Peck and Spiel Steven Spielberg in a New York City street where you're like, I got to remember this. This is like a crazy life moment. I, th I think it's a little bit of both, you know, I'm, I'm okay. super grateful to have the experiences I've had. And as, as much as I'd says, I want like that. I was lucky that I was in the right place in the right audition room. You know, I, I really have worked really hard to get. Where yeah. I and you're today, unbelievably you know? talented well, and you work you, your ass you. off. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So you're and, never going to, it, that's yeah. It, it, yeah. You can be in the right room, but if, but you, yes, if, you, if you, you don't bring you to it, then, yeah, it, exactly. then, then but oh, yeah, all of your center, there are pinch me moments. I mean, what I because I think I forget the beginning of the audition process because there was a, an audition that we went to, it was like a callback. I think it was like the third callback, not even the final callback. And um, we, or I can't, it could have been the final callback, but we just walked into the room just like a normal um, kind of like callback. You, you know, walk into the room, we're going to do a combo. Sure. And we just like see Steven Spielberg and not even like sitting at the desk. He's literally like, greeting us with like a camcorder like hey guys how's it going and you're like what? hey steven hey steven <laughs> hey, steven spielberg like i don't know what to do <laughs> no one was like warned that steven was going to be in the room we just like walked what? in and he's like greeting us with a camcorder like taking video and it was just like and then as we so then he's sort of like okay i guess steven's just going to be here today i don't know and then we um, we start to do the combo and stuff, and he's literally like doing Pilates, like laying down with his legs, like doing like exercises with his camcorder as we're dancing. We're like, "What is going What's on? happening? What You're like, happening? wait, time, You're out, like, wait time, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. <laughs> is he? Are we just gonna not talk <laughs> Which, about? Yeah, no, it's just gonna happen. He's he can do whatever he wants. He's Steven Spielberg, you know. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to see so this video footage. That was he definitely one of those together. moments. And even in Hamilton, you know, um. There's so many moments where 
you know, a job becomes a job and you just get so focused on your work and teaching yeah. and performing that like, and then you like step back. Like there's a lot of times in Hamilton where like, where I get to perform besides being the dance captain and practicing my tracks and like teaching new people and I get to perform and I, I'm always like, this show is so good. And I'm so grateful yeah. to be in this show. Like I, as much as it is hard work and how much work I'm doing, cause I'm really doing like two different jobs at once. Yeah. Um, it's, it is a great show and I definitely have those moments. I'm like, I'm so happy to be here. I love performing this show in a great, yeah. in such a great show, you know, going from Newsies. I love that. I started with a show that's just like a Disney really happy show. It has a great message, super fun, energetic to like something that has real depth and meaning and is like yeah. brilliant in that sense. And I, so I love performing in a show that has like, just like true meeting and people like, Almost, I feel like leave with their lives changed. Yeah, I mean, yeah. truly, yeah, it's life changing theater. Yeah, um, yeah, which is a rare thing to be involved with. Yeah, uh, true. You know, as truly. you know, it's like uh, there's a lot of fluff and a lot of commercial, or mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes the weird, like really meaningful stuff happens, like in Kansas in a regional theater yeah, for yeah, like yeah. three weeks, and then it's over, and you're like, well, wait, what happened? It, to that yeah, was yeah, so yeah. fun. That was so yeah. like art. And yes, you're like, exactly, exactly. You know, in New York City, a lot of times it's, you know, it's just gets so commercial. Um, and to have something like that and then to have it run so long and to be involved with it and navigate yes. doing eight shows a week over many years. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Um, I think I have a question for you. Um, okay, this is a question from uh, uh, KE God So 20 on Instagram who says, Who's more fun to dance with, Carla or Jacob? Carla is your girlfriend, Carla Garcia. Yes. Uh, I mean, there, it's just different. I have such a blast with uh, Carla. Um, she's, if you don't know who she is, she's going to be the next Broadway choreographer. She's so talented. Um, I'm so fortunate to call her my girlfriend. I don't, yeah. <laughs> you know, like she's, she's so talented. So I, anytime I'm doing her choreography, it's just, it's so fun. There's so much meaning behind it. There's so much flavor behind it she does an amazing amazing job um so i love dancing with carla and i've i've danced with jacob my whole entire life he's my twin brother um we we try to meet with another friend of ours jules and we we create like almost once a week um and i love dancing with him too you know it's it's you can't really compare the two um sure that's good this is uh, diplomatic this is yeah, good yeah, yeah, 10 days know, before an election <laughs> this is the perfect answer i was as, as soon as i put it up i was like oh wait this could maybe not end well <laughs> I can hear this being no. like you said what you like <laughs> Carla better. <laughs> no, no, it's 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 just different feelings. I, I I usually dance with Carla like her choreography. Like I haven't really like choreographed with her, so that's just sure. like a different feeling where I choreograph with my brother, and you know that's like a lifelong, amazing feeling. So you know, yeah. They're, one and the same different you know so then it sounds like it's an incredible thing to have an identical twin brother who's also in the business is yes. there like what is that i was trying to i was walking my dog today thinking is it the first time in broadway history that there's been identical twins who have both had you know thriving careers at the same time i i feel like we did some research when we were newsies because yeah. some people at the disney offices were curious too right and i think there have been fraternal twins that worked on Broadway yeah. and there's been, I think mother, identical. daughter, like LaShawn's and her daughter. Yes, and Greg exactly. There's, there's been family members. There's been, I think yeah. identical twins. And I think the identical, there's been identical girl twins as well in the same show. But I okay. want to say unofficially, we were the first identical twins to be in the same show, male identical twins to be in the same show on Broadway. Wow. But there has been a lot of family members and um, a lot sure. of, you know, people in the business, but. Yeah. And does it, because yeah. you're identical, is there a thought of like, you both audition for a show and you're both right for it? Cause you're this outside, you're the same human, right? Obviously you're not the same human. Yeah. Is there, does that ever, is that a weird moment? Is it like, oh, he got called back, but I didn't. Is there ever any of that? I'm, I'm only curious just because yeah, yeah. on the surface, you're the exact same human. Yeah, I mean, in a lot both, of respects. Yeah, we have the same training, so um, we can dance very similar, and we can look the same dance wise. But then, yeah, we we also ha can we dance very differently, you know. But we can sure. make an effort to dance very similar. Um, but for sure, there's definitely times where, um, you know, he gets the call back. I remember because 
it was in that six months before I went on the tour, we both auditioned for Fiddler on the Roof revival sure. the, um, lab and I got cut and he got asked to stay. And I was like, mm, like, you know, yeah, like, dang, what are... like, what did I do? And, and then, but a lot of it's hard too, because a lot of shows as cool as being uh, identical twins are. And, and now we've grown apart. So we look very different. We don't have to like be sure. identical twins, but um, a lot of, shows don't want twins they don't want two people that look the same because they don't right. want the audience to get confused when you see a character do something and then you see the character that looks the same do something else and you're right. like so a lot of times they're actually not looking for twins and um maybe that's what i usually put it on i don't think uh you know I, as much as i <laughs> i was gonna say a funny joke and now it's not panning out of my head but i was gonna say like jacob's you know more talented than me but you know i just put it on that like they didn't want twins in the show you know it's true. Come on. No. no we no. have no room for self-deprecating humor here. All right, David. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, no, that, but yeah, it's I, so it's, it's, it's kind it's of wild. For yeah. Sure. yeah, it's yeah. um it's all right. I mean, you date someone in the business, right? And yeah. and you know, they're it's whatever. So there's all that. You have a best friend who's like booking everything and you're like, I can't book anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like those are hard enough. So I'm like, I'm just trying to put myself in your literal <laughs> tennis shoes of like, yeah, I mean, well, what it's going to be like to have. Yeah. Fortunately, we've both worked a lot. And um, yeah, so we it's not like one of us is only working and the other one's not, you know, sure. So, um, so it's, I, <laughs> Thank I, God. I mean, as I know, like, luckily enough, we're both able to do that. So um, that's really great. But um, it's That's funny incredible. though because there's there's there was one audition that we went in for that um, the choreographer really liked us and said like you guys are perfect for this you guys are great um, I don't even remember what it was for and then um, and then we got the like we got a call there and said hey like they really loved you guys but they didn't want twins we're like oh okay hmm. so we we figured that one of us would get hired because like if you hire one of us we're not a twin anymore but <laughs> they ended up not hiring either of us <laughs> you're like well wait <laughs> okay like, wait 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 okay wait wait wait. You can uh, get one of us. We're not like a yeah, package we're, deal. Correct. <laughs> we're, You're like, so, well, if you can't have one, you can't have, you can't have both. You don't get either. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> push Jacob out of the frame. You're like, I am still available. <laughs> That's <laughs> um, okay, what was it like? My final question as we wrap up. What, what Do you have any memories of working at the Nederlander? Um, since that's the theater we featured all week. Yeah. Uh, and it sticks out in your brain, dressing room, weird, backstage. We have this thing that we say Broadway theater are weird as shit any weird as shit moments of the theater weird as shit um like yes i mean, or I mean it's, newsies was yeah. itself was like an amazing show we had a great camaraderie backstage the, the guys were awesome we were yeah. a brotherhood you know we we did so many fun things so many funny things on stage and you know there's so many mistakes in any show that you do i've made a lot of I messed up a lot of lines in Newsies. <laughs> Not proud to say, but it happened. It's live theater, you know? Um, yeah. But they're kind of like, because you talk about your ghost stories too, there was one show that in, you know, in the theater world, if you don't know, you're not supposed to say Macbeth, you know? Yeah. Um, so there was a show that they were opening on Broadway, Macbeth was. Uh -huh. And we had every, you know, every theater does like that. Happy opening Macbeth. You know, this, uh -huh. uh, everyone does it for any show that opens up. And it was the night that that was on our call board. Everyone was signing it. And of course, everyone's like, oh, Macbeth is opening. And in the theater, <laughs> you're not supposed to say it. But of course, everyone's saying it. And in that show, the towers stopped working at one point. People were forgetting their lines. Lights were not getting the right cues. There was so much like technical, like people were messing up dance steps. And you know, like, of course that happens, but a lot of stuff was happening in the show that they ended up just taking down the side. They're like, we can't do this. We, you know? oh, sorry, like, happy opening you guys. Get this out of here. Like... <laughs> so that was, that was pretty funny. Like. Uh, we we like should have we should have gone show to show and see if like every show was a mess that night. Yeah, Broadway. right. That would have been like, funny. That one production of with Alan Cumming shut down Broadway. <laughs> You're like happy opening. <laughs> Thanks. Happy Thanks opening. For Thanks for like ruining our show. Thanks for night. ruining Broadway. <laughs> Thanks, Alan Cumming. Yeah, nice work. Yeah. Wow, that's um that's hilarious. I love that. Yeah. Um, you've but been awesome. a lot of great memories. Uh, there's there was a. I mean, there's so many mistakes that happen on stage too. Like um, one time, like during the turns in the paper, like Jess Leprado slipped and ended up like falling into the pit. 
Um, oh, yeah, no. it was really scary in the moment. And all of us were like, oh my God, what's happening? And he's like flailing his legs. Our conductor's like holding him and like conducting at the same time. It was like, <laughs> it's like out of a, a movie. Like it was wild. To then, Jess rolled onto the net. The final tumble pass comes in and sees the day, finishes, just dive rolls off of the net, rolls and goes 4 1 and finishes. You're and I'm, kidding. <laughs> we're like, what just happened? What just happened? I don't know what to, you're, I can't even like be like, yes, because I'm literally like, what is going on? I don't know what happened. Like, oh we thought, my gosh. We were talking backstage. We're like, if I was Jess, I would have like walked off the stage and said, I'm done. I'm done. For yeah, the show. I'm done. And I'm he, out. he dives, rolls, and like, 4 1 and finishes strong. And all of us are like, okay. <laughs> he's not a breath, but game. like, what? Yeah. Is he bleeding? Is he not yeah, bleeding? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah in the original Les Mis, uh, when they sang I Dream to Dream, the Fontines, they were like in a spotlight, and mm -hmm. Randy Graff. Um, she fell into the orchestra pit in the dark, but no one saw it because it was just like, she was just like out of her life. Yeah. She landed on the drum kit, the spike of the cymbal, and she impaled herself on it <sighs> and then literally climbed up and was like, I dreamed a dream and finished the song <laughs> back in the spot. I said, no, no idea. She wow. like literally crawled off stage, just wow. blood. And they were like, I think we're going to have you call out. And she was like, well, yeah. I'm dead anyway. So, and so when, every time someone says wow. like, I fell into the orchestra pit, I was like, not near the drum kit, right? Not, not near the no, stage. yeah, like, no, luckily not. <laughs> one, just like a cymbal stand just sticking, sticking out. Sticking out, wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, yeah. No. Oh, God. Life yeah, is. that's one of my favorite stories. That is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. That is. I've been thinking about that all day. I'll try to make this one short because there's another really okay. good one. No, where... please tell us. Jack Scott, one of our swings, <clears throat> after Kara's song, um, watch what happens, let's yes. begin. She buttons, and then um, a Newsy has to come on stage and literally pull, push her off. They kind of have to pull back and then push right. her off stage left. And as that's happening, the, the right tower is moving forward to change the scene. And somehow Jack just came too far back and started to push, and his foot got caught onto the tower. And... Luckily, the, the stage manager was on top and it stopped it right away. So he wasn't hurt, but like he just couldn't move because his foot is literally stuck under this two ton tower. And so <sighs> Kara noticed that she wasn't moving, like kind of like got off. Like the, the um, backstage guys like literally came on and like helped her take the set piece off. She exited. We start the next scene and Jack is still in the back of the. <laughs> he's still in the back of the. And he's not, he's not kind of mid stage. <laughs> He's not even all the way in the backstage. He's kind of mid-stage. And we're doing the scene. Because I'm in that next scene. It's like the beginning of Seize the Day when he's like, so who's coming? Like, what's going to happen? Like, is Brooklyn coming? What did Spock Conlon say? And, well, and he's, he's just like. He's been here the whole time. <laughs> he's been here the whole time. He's literally just showing the back of the scene like. He's like yeah, trying to yank his foot out. <laughs> he can't get it. Jack, he, are you in? He Bye, finally man. unzips his shoe is able to slide his foot out. His shoe is stuck under the tower still. He runs off stage with one shoe to try to get ready. And um, Corey Cott, our Jack Kelly at the time, knows that he has to be on stage left. The tower finally moves back. So now there's just a shoe on stage. And Corey decides, even though he's like running the scene, that he's going to like help him get his shoe back. So he's like saying the line. He picks up the shoe and he's... He's, he's about like five feet from stage right, so he could have just chucked it off that way. But instead, he decided to throw it across the entire stage to get to stage left. Like, he's like throwing a football, like, whoa. <laughs> just like... <laughs> and stage management's just like, <laughs> just, just, just like what yeah. is happening? And like, all of us are on stage, like, why did you just throw it across the stage? <laughs> um, For what? Just, yeah, you... <laughs> just like ridiculous stuff happening. That yeah. was. I think I've ever heard in a long time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. That and Jess in the orchestra pit, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, best. we had some really good times at Easy. <laughs> You're like, let me see. Do I remember anything about the Nederlander? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, yes, wild. I have this whole list. <laughs> You're like, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> You're incredible. Thank you for um, spending a little piece of your Saturday with us. I hope uh, we didn't even talk about the shutdown because like who wants to talk about the shutdown? Yes. Um, I hope you're like mentally making it through this and like you as well. Man. Uh, Instagram is where we should follow you. Is that like the best way if people want to like know about your life and, and how should we follow you? <laughs> 
Yeah, I think Instagram is probably the best way. Um, okay. I honestly don't post that much, but Instagram is probably sure. where I, I'm definitely not on. Tw- I am on Twitter, but I'm not on Twitter. And then right. uh, Facebook, I just kind of stalk people. <laughs> yeah. Lurker, we yeah. call it a lurker. Scroller yeah, and a lurker. lurker. <laughs> uh, do you uh, and do you do TikTok? No, I do not yeah, do me, TikTok. Uh, I refuse. I'm sorry. Correct. It makes me really mad when people like dance on TikTok, and it's like that's don't please like don't put that in the same category as dancing. That's yeah, not, like, that's what you do, dancing. what I do is different. That's, you know, no, no. Um, but do, what I will say, I want to call attention to a video you do with Kevin. And some dudes uh, like morning something about the morning. Oh, morning step, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, it's so we, good, dude. That was in I the went down to that and, hole. Oh, thanks, I watched man. It too many yeah, we we went. We actually went. That's my parents' house. We went up to just south of Boston in my parents' house, and me, my brother, and four of our like best friends went up, and we were just gonna go chill for the week because they have like a pool table and like a ping pong table and play video games and we decided we came up with this idea of like let's put a dance t- video together this week and we did like a one shot throughout the whole house of us getting ready and it ended up coming out really great and oh my it, it was, god we were so proud of it and we were we had a blast making it too it's great people i mean yeah. all of you just like yeah. the talent and then it just oh, looks thanks like man thanks. and then it's like god Get yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Oh, Definitely check that out for sure. That yeah, you have awesome. to. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, that's on your Instagram, I think. That's on my Instagram, yes. Okay. Yeah, so check that out if you haven't. It's so good. Um, yeah. You're a talented kid. Um, thank you. Like, Thanks, congratulations Thanks. on everything. That's, you know, good luck with Hamilton once we're on the other side of this. <laughs> Tell like they had your brother. Um, and uh, and thanks for, uh, truly, thanks for spending a little piece of this quarantine this Saturday. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, thanks for asking me. Thanks, dude. I'll see you on the other side of this. Um, he is, uh, he's incredible and talented and, and nice. And, you know, to have two of them, uh, between him and his brother, it's, um, a really, uh, they're just really cool dudes, really talented, really nice. And, um, it's so nice to see them like win in life. And we love a good show that went wrong story. So, uh, that is him in the shoe and him in that orchestra pit is, I won't soon forget those. That's incredible. Uh, uh, thanks for spending, uh, this one I think is our longest one we've ever done, 57 minutes with us. Thanks for spending almost an hour of your Saturday with us. I really appreciate it. Um, for those uh, who are interested in merchandise and things like that, <clears throat> excuse me, you can head over, of course, to broadwayupclose.com forward slash souvenirs. Our um, uh, long awaited Broadway sign uh, ornaments are finally back in stock. Uh, we still have some of those. We sold about half of them yesterday, so we still have some left uh, if you want to snag one of those. And then our souvenir book that was out of stock for uh, way too long. Uh, Schubert Brothers and Beyond, that souvenir book is also back in stock. So you can check out those uh, uh, online at our souvenir shop. If you want to follow us uh, on um, Instagram, you can do that uh, at Broadway Up Close. If you're here on Facebook, give us a little like and subscribe. We have one of these every week. We Next week is our 20th week. Uh, and so we are almost fully uh, halfway through the entire series, which feels wild and crazy. Um, the original idea was we'll end this uh, and then like Broadway will be back on. And so that'll be March, which will, it won't be back on. Um, but uh, you know, we uh, here we are, we'll figure it out. Um, thank you uh, for joining happy Saturday noon on Broadway. And uh, on Monday we move forward a couple blocks. Uh, and so I hope you can join us for our next theater. In the meantime, we are officially, as I say, one day closer to Broadway. I love you all. Happy Saturday. Bye.